Welcome to the future. My name is Bella. I know it's hard to believe, but I am not a real human and this is not my real voice. My likeness was created with Lexica, a groundbreaking AI tool that is revolutionizing the way we interact with technology. The script I'm reading was written by ChatGPT, one of the most advanced language models on the planet. My voice originated in Eleven Labs, a team of AI experts who specialize in creating stunning vocal performances. And finally, the video you're watching was created with DID, a state-of-the-art AI video platform that is changing the game for creators and businesses alike. If you continue watching, you'll learn how to create something similar. With the power of AI at your fingertips, the possibilities are endless. Welcome to the future. The first thing I want to do is type out a prompt in Lexica. Now I know a lot of people do this in Midjourney, but I found you can get pretty much the same effect in Lexica. So I'm typing in realistic female human portrait shot from a high-res Canon camera, and you'll see it's brought up a ton of images that fit that profile. So I'm going to search for one that works for something that I wanted for. I think that this one will work well, so I'll select it and I'll click download. So now we have our image. You then need to ask ChatGPT to write you a script for the character you're creating. I've also asked it to list out the tools that we're using. The important thing with ChatGPT is to be very specific with your prompts. That's how you get quality outputs. Now that we've copied our script, we'll go across to Eleven Labs to record the audio. In the settings, you can select from the voices they already have available. For the purposes of this one, we're going to select Bella. Now we can go ahead and paste our copied script. Under speech synthesis, I'm pasting the text I got from ChatGPT into the text box. And then I'll click Generate. Welcome to the future. My name is Bella. I know it's hard to believe, but I am not a real human and this is not my real voice. I like that one. That voice sounds suitable for what we'll be using it for. Now again, you can use any text-to-speech tool for this part of the process, but I found that Eleven Labs is a fairly good range of voice options and it gives you a good amount of outputs on the free plan. Now this is where the magic happens. DID is the platform that allows you to produce customized videos featuring talking avatars and it makes it really simple to do. I've selected the free trial plan for 14 days and when you want to create a video you'll need to register and sign in. Once you're in you can go ahead and add your character or you can select from the already existing ones. For this one we're going to add the one we created. There we go. And then we'll upload the audio we created in Eleven Labs. You can choose to record your audio in DID as well, but we're just going to go ahead and upload the audio we've already created. Welcome to the future. My name is Bella. I so that sounds good. And now we'll go ahead and generate the video. This might take a few minutes, so give it some time. Now that the video has been generated, let's do a little test to see if it plays back. Welcome to the future. My name is Bella. I know it's hard to believe, but I am not a real human and this is not my real voice. That looks and sounds great, so let's download that to our local drive. And that's all there really is to it. It's relatively simple when you have the right tools. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are. I'd love to know if there are other tools you're using to create a similar or an even better effect. Thanks again for watching.